that we'll need for the pancakes. So here this is melted butter, three tablespoons of melted butter. This is one and a half cups of uh, self-raising flour. This is one cup of milk, vanilla essence. We'll use a half a tea, half a tablespoon or a teaspoon of vanilla essence. And then here we have three eggs. Then this is sugar, half a cup of sugar. So these are the ingredients that we will need for the pancakes. Three tablespoons of uh, margarine. Then we add sugar. Then half a cup of sugar. And mix. This mix well. We'll add the eggs. And as you need. Then we'll add um, half a tablespoon of vanilla essence. Like the vanilla essence helps to neutralize the taste of the eggs. And it also gives your pancakes uh, a nice, it's a nice taste, nice vanilla taste. But if you don't like vanilla, you can use any other essence. You can use the last strawberry, you can use, you can use chocolate, you can use lemon, you can use any other essence. But vanilla is good for neutralizing the taste of the eggs. That's why I like using it. Then now we will add in our our flour bit by bit. Bit by bit, you don't add one. As you mix. Some more milk. Sorry.
the right consistency for my pancake. Now we will heat our pan. But pancakes are cooked in low heat. You just heat the pan a little, then you lower the heat. So this is my pan. This is where I'm going to cook my pancake. The pan is ready. The heat has been lowered. It's ready. I'll put the first one to try. Let's see. See how ready my pan is. You see your heat is too low and you can increase it a bit. You wait for it to cook until you see the some bubbles coming out or some air bubbles on the pancake. That's when you turn. But you see those holes like that? Now you can turn. It means the other side is ready. Don't get a fragile so you be gentle. So let me keep cooking, I'll show you the end product. Welcome to my channel and thank you for viewing thank you for coming here thank you for subscribing you are most welcome in case you're new in this channel please feel free to subscribe feel free to like the videos feel free to leave a comment and welcome to this family today i want to encourage somebody i want to encourage someone that doesn't know where he or she is going doesn't know somebody that looks stuck maybe you're starting a new business you're starting a new career you're starting a new channel you don't know where to start from you don't know how to go about it i'm here for you today so let me give you a brief history about myself. Um, I started my YouTube channel a few years ago. But I didn't know much about YouTube. So I didn't do anything with it. I just started the channel and left it there. Then Corona came and everybody was indoors. Then that is where I now started watching videos from various people various creators and one day i stumbled on jalango tv 
and I started watching with Bonga Najalas. So I really liked it. And I kept on watching and watching and watching. And remember at that time, I still didn't do anything with my YouTube channel. It was just blank. Then I watched and watched and watched and watched. And there is a day he hosted Eve Mongai. So in the process of watching Jalango TV, there's a time he was encouraging people. And then he said, whatever you want to do, just start. And then came the hosting of Eve Mongai. And I realized Eve Mongai had just started her channel just the other day and her channel really grew and it was because of hard work she would put videos every day she would put videos 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 and market her videos and Jalango always taught us consistency 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 you might not be good in what you're doing but consistency makes you perfect in your area so he always encouraged consistency. So when this interview with Eve Mongai happened, I told myself, this is just a small girl. And she started this thing and see where she is now. She's already been monetized. And I told myself, Fosa, you can do it. That YouTube channel that you started, that is lying there, you can do it. And then the trouble came. Now we just, I have a YouTube channel that I started. What do I put in my channel? And I looked every, I checked on almost all YouTubers and the posts they were putting there looked so advanced. And I didn't know, I said, I'm not, I'm not a talkative person. I'm not somebody who can go, I want to be able to go to the street to start interviewing people. What can I do? And I searched, and I sat and I searched within me, and I couldn't see anything. Then I remembered there are some videos, there's some songs that I had sung some time back. So I said, why don't I upload, why don't I look for someone who can help me to uh, put these songs into a video form, even a lyric video, and then I post. But then came the... You know, such kind of, you need to pay. It was a bit expensive. I said, I can't do this myself. I started Googling. I Googled how to make lyric videos. And trust me, I made the lyric videos. One was made by somebody, but I realized it was expensive. I couldn't afford to do that continuously. I ended up making the two videos myself. They were not good quality. But I did it. And at that time now I had how many? Three videos on my YouTube channel. The views were not many. I couldn't go record another song. Because I didn't have that much finances. You know, to go and record. Recording a song is expensive. And I also needed to compose the song. Like, it's a lot of work. I wanted something that I could do daily. Because of what Jalang taught, taught consistency i wanted it to, it to be something that i can do frequently do more often so i sat and i thought and i said why don't i do something on something on beauty beauty and nikangusha my next uh video it wasn't good quality but i did it and i posted it and trust me I, there are some people that didn't really even like it but you know what i told myself i've already placed it there and i am not removing it it is me i am doing it i am and i know i will grow it may not go well, well with somebody somebody may see it and say ah not a good video but so what the video is already there who cares if i don't care i said the video is already there i'm not removing it i've realized that sometimes you just need to be tough when you want something you need to be tough about it 
you need to be intentional about it i am doing this focus on what you're doing when you start doing something trust me what what akuja people will come with the opinions very many opinions trust me but focus on what you're doing focus on what you want to do so that video after doing that video somebody gave me not very palatable comments about that video and it threw me back a bit and i got scared and i said people are going to judge me people are going to see the the vulnerable side of me that i don't want them to see you know people some will even laugh at me or judge me but i realized that i'm the one who was uh, blocking myself you know you sit there minding that so and so doesn't like what i'm doing or they will laugh at me or they will judge me but you know their life is going on their things are going on on a fanya mambo yao and you you're here beating yourself so after some time i said no i have to do this maybe i may not have made a good impression on my first video but i can do better i'm not pulling it down but my other videos are going to be better so i made my next i did a research again and i i got some equipment that could improve me and improve my videos a bit and i made my next video and trust me the next video i made it was nice i looked at it and i loved it it was a better quality than the other one so what do i want you to learn from my story i want to teach you in my story that when you start to do something focus don't mind what people are going to say about you don't mind that people will judge me trust me everybody has something they're struggling with everyone is struggling with something so be bold about your your intention be intentional about what you're doing and do it the first time you do it it will not come out nicely as you want it, maybe the quality will be poor if it is a video you're creating if it is a business you're starting you might fail the first the second or the third you will struggle from the beginning but trust me once you get the momentum things just flow when i was starting these videos it was a hassle i didn't even we didn't even know what to do where when i was starting up i i didn't even know which topic to start with i didn't even know what to put out there but i just started with what i have so whatever it is that you're doing you want to start a business and you don't even have the capital start with what you have you want to be a youtuber you don't even have an idea of what kind of videos to create start with what you're doing on a daily basis if you have children start even with communicating with your children if you are a mother start cooking start doing something just do it and as you're doing it re do research so that you can better yourself so that the video you made yesterday does not look the same way you, you as the video you're making today if it is a, a business you're starting if it is a business you're starting make sure that you don't handle your customers today the way you handle them yesterday if the yesterday was poor whatever it is that you're starting at the beginning it will always be there will always be struggle you will always struggle from the beginning but trust me as you continue doing it things will become easier things will flow you will everything you'll, you'll be surprised how everything is just easy everything will just look easy me right now i am not afraid as i was 
tutangu. I am not like what do I say? I'm, I I don't I, I don't really mind what people say about my videos that much because I have seen that every day there is an improvement somewhere. So you small entrepreneur, you small YouTuber, you that has one subscriber in your channel, you that has two subscribers, you have less than 10, you have 100. Trust me, don't give up. Just continue with what you're doing. I'm talking a lot about subscribers because that is what I do now. Trust me, things will always be better as you move forward. So be intentional. So that's all I have for you for today. I hope my video has inspired you. I hope you are now encouraged and you're ready to focus and do whatever you're doing and move forward with it. So until next time, bye bye. Please don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to comment and don't forget to like my videos. See you soon. Bye. Hello guys. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening from wherever you are. Welcome to my YouTube channel. It's a pleasure, always a pleasure to have you here. It's been a while and I hope you are doing great and I hope you've been doing great all the time. Today I want to show you how to make chapati. I'm cooking chapatis and bean stew in my house today and I just thought I should take show you how do I, how I make my chapatis so I won't do a lot of talking I'll just show you the things that I will be using and then the rest will be action I'll let you see so for my chapatis I need a bowl this is where I'll do the mixing and then I need water this is hot water it's warm I need it a bit hot so I'll take it back to make it a bit hot, a bit hot. so I'll need hot water not hot Elena Choma not hot that burns you but hot that you can handle I need oil I need uh, salt and I need flour chapati flour and finally I need a foil you see what I'll do with the foil and of course spoon so I'll show you first, I'll take, I, I like mixing the waters, the, the, the wet ingredients first before I mix the dry ingredients. I know there are people who start with the dry ingredients and they go to the wet, may start the other way, wet. So by wet ingredients, I mean the oil and the water. Mm -hmm. the water is okay so this is something I've done for a while just for you so I pour the water here you see it's steaming that's enough if it's not enough I'll add later This is oil. salt generous amount so that it tastes in the chapatis to put the little chapati my both both window in Italy of Israeli 
and the little sugar, just a little, not a lot, just a little. I don't even know why I put sugar. I don't know, I think maybe they will teach me how to put chapati and put in sugar. And that's the liquor. You stir. Then I will take it is flour that we went the other time we cooked and I don't like wastage so I'll just do this I sieve my flour I sieve my flour because just to remove any if any there's anything don't worry debris I don't know if it is debris, Fijui. You see, you see. Let me show you. I don't know. Can you see? Yeah, that's why I I move. I do that. I do my class. That's not enough. I'll take another one. Hey, I'm done. Yeah, you are done. I like it. You can use another brand. It doesn't have to be Ajan, but to me, I love Ajan. There's nothing special about me using it. Just that I like it. I like how my chapatis come out when I use Aja compared to others. And for mandazis, by the way, I use a different one for mandazis. I tried Aja for mandazis. It didn't work for me. So I use... For mandazis, I use something else. But for chapatis, I use Aja. nothing special about sieving just to remove any anything any sipendi nini kulikuwa na unga yenye meshikana maybe unga that ilipata maji or moisture and then I don't know just like sieving you can do cool it maybe there is a reason for sieving you see like those ones and that's why I see it's not enough, but I'll just stop. Concentrate here, not on my face. At this point now, I will use my hands. Now make sure your hands are clean. I already washed my hands. Before you start cooking, wash your hands. Because most of the time you'll be using your hands to handle food. So just make sure your hands are clean. Mine are clean. I already washed them. So at this point, I will just continue with my hand. But before then, 
I'll take a little of here. Then now, using my hand, I will knead it. Just use your eyes to to measure to know the amount of of flour that you need to add on on your mixture. At this point, see it's not hard and it's not soft. But it's still sticking to my hands and I don't want my chapatis to be hard. So I will not add flour from now on. I will add oil so that it, the flour will still be soft. I'll just be adding oil a little little by little until I get the consistency that I want you see the difference now it is still soft but at least it's not sticking so much to my hand. So here, so just a little, just a little, just a Then once it's, it reaches this, but it's not, no, no, it's not sticking to my hands. I will put it aside get a clean cloth put them aside somewhere this plate I, would, I already wiped it so it is not that then I just put some little flour like this. I get this one, put it here. Then I start kneading. Now this is what you call kneading. Kneading helps in making your chapati soft. Your chapati becomes soft. When your hands are, you feel your hands are. I'm putting the flour just to ensure that it doesn't stick. Yeah. But make sure you don't add too much. If you add too much, you might end up with very hard chapatis. So I always like doing this. For some reason, it makes my chapatis soft. I don't know. 
maybe maybe it's just a belief but for some reason when i do this the dough becomes soft it's soft and it's very fast it's a form of kneading it's very soft you see it's almost And now it's not even sticking here. I've not put any any more flour and it's not sticking. Meaning it is almost. You see? It's almost. I think now the sour. Now it's okay. The dosha. Creating space. I don't have much space. I'm just creating space. I wonder what I want to do. I want to wash my hands because I've touched. Some people like leaving their dough the way it is to rest for 30 minutes. But me, this is how I do mine. Because I don't want I don't want to handle this dough a lot like like I let it rest and I roll, then again I will let it rest. I don't have all that time. But if you have time and leave it rest for 30 minutes then you go to the next step which i'll show you but me i'll just do it immediately because of time i don't want supper to reach i have children i don't want supper to reach and then they start crying oh mommy i'm hungry mommy we need food oh mommy i'm hungry oh mommy i need food Again, I put oil at this point, but not much, just a little. This oil is what ensures that one, your chapati is soft, and two, your chapati comes out easily. Guys, I realized my camera stopped. I don't know. I don't know why. So you roll, just roll like this. I hope you saw the other step. I don't know where my camera stopped, but I just after after kuwekelea apa like rolling it into a one big chapati that is when i decided to cut i hope you saw that because i don't know i just realized now that good afternoon good evening from wherever you're watching me from thank you for coming to my youtube channel i appreciate it feel more welcome my name is fosa and uh, I am your, how do I call myself? I'm that person who advises you on the various things to do in your life, like inspire you. So today, 
I won't take much of your time but if you're new in this channel feel more welcomed and uh, kindly subscribe go through my videos subscribe like I'll be creating more videos more beneficial videos as time goes by it's been a while since I created a video but now I'm back and I hope we'll be meeting more often so today I won't take much of your time I, but I want to teach you on the benefits of vitamin C to your skin so I'll take you through vitamin C so vitamin C is a vitamin that is essential for so many things in our in our bodies vitamin C help, it helps your skin when you take vitamin C it will protect your skin from your skin and even your body organs from free radicals these free radicals come from um, processed foods when your body breaks down the food that you have eaten or when you're exposed to the sun or when you're exposed to tobacco those effects vitamin c helps you protect your body from from those effects the effects of those radicals uh, now where do we get vitamin c vitamin c is found in ye yellow fruits fruits like mangoes ripe mangoes fruits like oranges orange juice strawberries mm, pepper so wale wanakula pilipili continue it's beneficial for your health because it has vitamin c uh, the berries also have vitamin c there are a lot of sources of vitamin c very many uh, and vitamin c also is very important in various ways like it helps in maybe reducing i can just tell you a few reducing the risk of cancer reducing um, helping in, with your memory if you're a mother and maybe after giving birth you lose your memory you know mothers suffer from slight memory loss after giving birth so vitamin c can help you regain your memory or even if you're aging and your memory you're losing your memory due to age vitamin c is also beneficial for you so today out of all those benefits of vitamin c i want to teach you about the benefits of vitamin c on your skin which is making you look young and fighting it's an antioxidant so generally it will help you remove the marks on your face it will help you to look flawless ladies we normally want we always want to look flawless so vitamin c is your friend when it comes to flawlessness vitamin c is your friend so vitamin c comes in various forms for ladies there is a vitamin c serum that is sold as a serum in a, in a processed form and then you apply it on your skin if you're not able to get that kind of vitamin c you can still make your vitamin c at home so today i want to show you how to make your vitamin c at home vitamin c looks like this it's a tub it's kind of which color is this orange it's an orange color it comes in orange and uh you can either swallow this is for this is a tablet so this is for swallowing but i can i want to teach you how to make your own serum from this tablet the vitamin c tablet so all you need to do is like two tablets of vitamin c and it's very cheap by the way if you go to your chemist it doesn't cost you like this one will not even go beyond 100 shillings so you take like two tablets of vitamin c let me tilt my camera a bit so you see you're able to see what i'm doing okay so you'll take your vitamin c like this then you put it here this is uh you can use a serviette you can use a tissue just put it there you fold then you get something that you can use to crush it then you crush it like this After crushing the vitamin C you'll get a powder a powder that looks like this one 
ni camera jamani you'll get a powder this is a vitamin c powder and vitamin c is water soluble so because it is water soluble it will dissolve easy very fast in water than any other thing so that's why when you check most sites or most channels they will tell you to mix the vitamin c with the vitamin e which is an oil i've tried that and i've realized it doesn't mix well so i advise you use water so you can just put it on your hand if you share crush just put it in your hand like this then take just a little water i have my water here so just pour a little to make a paste you can use your hand you can put it somewhere in a container to make a paste an orange paste so once you get your orange paste this is now what you will use to apply on your face just take it with your hand and you apply on your face. Just take it and apply on your face, on the areas where you see maybe there are marks. Maybe you want to remove marks on your face or you have sunburn, you have marks on your face that you want to remove. So you apply on the affected area. But you can just as well apply on your entire face. I guarantee you, if you do this, you will have a smooth face very smooth and it also helps to fade away your marks so iso max mingi those pimple marks is in your nose use vitamin c to me, me i use it every day and i've seen a difference i don't know whether it's recommended medically to use every day but this is my face and i decide what to do with my face so me i use it daily I, I, I use it daily and I've seen tremendous change. I've seen those marks go away. I used to have a lot of pimples. I've seen those pimples go away. I used to have pimples on this side. If you check this side of my face, you will see there are still some marks, pimple marks. I've seen those pimple marks go away. I've seen my face being improving, being flawless. Yeah. And that's the beauty so even men you even if you're a man you can still use vitamin c you don't have to be a lady for you to use vitamin c and again by the way vitamin c is also good when you swallow it i told you from the beginning that our bodies don't produce vitamin c so actually we need to get it from uh, our food or as a supplement so this is a vitamin c supp supplement and it also um, boosts your immune system it also boosts your immune system so you can take this is one tablet is a hundred milligrams but your body needs around 40 to I think below 100 I'm not sure but I think it's below 100 milligrams so you can take one tablet per day or as prescribed by the person who has given you this from the chemist so that is all for today guys thank you for your time thank you for listening to me once again if you have not subscribed kindly subscribe to my channel kindly like my videos if there is a comment something that you want to add for the view the viewers to know kindly do it on the comment section feel free to comment feel free to like my video feel free to subscribe until next time bye hey guys thank you for joining my youtube channel thank you so much for subscribing if you haven't subscribed please subscribe on today's video i want to show you how to make viazi karai or um, bajia if you may like so for today's menu i'll need i need to make the viazi karai and i also need to make the sauce of kachumbari i won't make a sauce i'll make a kachumbari for the viazi karai so for the viazi karai i'll need potatoes that are already pre-boiled i already pre-boiled my potatoes i cut them into this size then i pre-boil them so while pre-boiling you make sure you don't leave it to be too soggy this one is already pre-boiled 
so this is what i'll use you can also reduce them in size in case you find that some are big you can try and reduce them in size if i can see some are a bit bigger uh, but in a patika just be gentle with it like that so this is ready for cooking the viazi karai this is about eight to ten potatoes when you're pre-boiling you put salt so that by the time you're cooking your potatoes have already salted i'll also need flour that's for the potatoes i also need flour one cup of flour just normal flour normal wheat flour then i'll go for, i'll also need a cup of water a cup of flour and a cup of water i will also need salt this is egg yellow food coloring this is turmeric i normally mix turmeric and egg yellow because turmeric has a good taste and this is just my seasoning let me show you the one i'm using i'm using this one it is this beef masala that i'm using i'm just using it because it, i like the taste you don't have to use it it's optional so that is what is inside here and um, what else do i need i know you're asking this one i know for the kachumbari i'll also i'll need the need okay for for the butter the butter from for coating the potatoes i will also need a bit of dania you can also add um how do we call it ndimu you can also add ndimu to that butter at least to give it a taste but because i'm making this one and i know my children are going to eat and they really don't like the sour taste that's why i'm not putting ndimu inside here but ndimu also has a very also gives a very nice taste to uh yeah the karai so for the kachumbari i'll need this is just half an onion the large one it's half and then this is one tomato now you're asking yourself why it's shiny yeah i blanched it in oil to help so that i am I'm, I'm able to remove the cover easily and then also the dania so let's proceed without further ado so this is my bowl this is where i'll do the mixing so in a bowl i'll just take this pour it in a bowl you can see i've already sieved mine then you take the water it doesn't have to be hot or warm this is just cold water and i'll put a cup it's a cup so i'm doing a ratio of one to one then i take my whisk and just mix like this but it's a bit thick so when you find it's a bit thick you can add some more water because this is a bit thick it's a bit thick so I'm adding a little, just a little water. The paste needs to be like that one of uh, that one for making pancakes, not too thick and not thin. I put two katikati. That one for making pancakes. Then hapa is where now I add these ones. I add hey, I'm to be adding a This is egg yellow. I'm adding egg yellow to the butter. See now my butter is smooth, but I need it to be 
deep orange so deep yellow so i'll add some more egg yellow tabidi nimeenda kununua egg yellow nyingine yake for next time we put it dog and then tongeza turmeric I'm measuring with my eyes that you can put just half a teaspoon. Kio mingi, half a teaspoon is just okay. And this is my roi my beef mm beef what? beef masala this is my beef masala i'm just putting it because i like the taste and even my baby also love the taste so i'm putting beef masala but that is optional you don't have to do it if you don't like the taste of it and now for we will put the salt remember we already put salt on the potatoes so here we're just putting a little salt not too much not too much not too little you can taste actually no bad we'll just taste one i can tell you a pinch of salt no you put the salt then taste when you come and it's not a crime to taste it's just butter mm, that's enough for me After that, we add the dania. Just a generous amount for that taste. Then my oil is here. I let my oil heat. I already heat it kidogo, but I let it heat some more. So this is just ready. It is ready. and then now for the kachumbari i'll do it kabisa kabisa as the oil gets ready i'll do the kachumbari so kachumbari when you look here utaona my onions are in water the reason why i place the onions inside this water is to remove that bitter taste in onions this kind of onions, the, the red onions are normally very bitter. So, kutua hii ukali, so that my kachumbari is itokele kachumbari iko na ukali, I put my onions in water with some salt and I let it soak. Then now I just wash it. I just wash the onions. I'll just wash the onions in drain. So we we'll put the onions here. So this is where I'm making my kachumbari. Okay, okay. 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 I'll start working on this. So you see now I'll just be peeling. Because I blanched it, it was a semi rice. I'll try to evo. Evo too. Sorry guys, I realized my camera paused before me and the lay. So this is my the the tomatoes that nyanya. The tomatoes I just cut it. Then I just mix it like this. I didn't make a lot because we were just a few in the house. I don't want to make a lot of kachumbari, a lot of it So just like this. And I 
put some salt. There's a pinch of salt. And let it rest. That resting is also good in a, in a fanya. the kachumbari all the tastes come in together so my kachumbari looks like this i'll place it there and i'll back here my oil by now my oil is almost ready let me push it like this yeah there my oil is here and by now my oil is ready so while making the cut the bajir, I'll just take this, dip it inside. Okay guys, me I'm afraid of the trameka, so I'll need a spoon. I'll do this. Put kada. Mini. Kada is mean. Those are not and you don't understand so heal. And that is many. So I put many like this. Then I just scoop and put in the oil. Let's wait for those ones to cook. I'm going to leave a zoo. So for the flour, you can either use the normal wheat flour for chapati, or you can mix gram flour and wheat flour. If you have gram flour, you can use gram flour and wheat flour. It also gives a nice taste. Don't like tasty. That is also ready. cooking this it's now time for presentation you realize that when you look at my bajia 
it is not soggy it's just the right texture soft inside nicely and outside is dry it's not soggy so now we are going to present it by just put a little kachumari on the dania that you want to eat like this yeah and it's ready ready for consumption you can try this at home i'm sure your kids or your family will love it so lovely it's nice that's all for today please guys don't forget to subscribe to my channel i'll be putting more and more videos on this channel so don't forget to subscribe so that every time i post a video you become notified you become them among the first among the first people to be notified of my video there are more videos to come more cooking videos more recipes are coming so stay welcome stay blessed until next time thank you and bye